Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up a Cuddy Back Cuddy Link cell phone camera. So we've got the Cuddy Link or Cuddy Link cell phone camera here, and what this is going to do is it allows you to remotely view images through a cellular connection. So it'll work with AT&T or Verizon networks, and then you're gonna be able to see those photos right on your phone, or it'll send them to you via email. So it works with a card, uh, just a standard memory card. You're gonna put that in there, and you're gonna need four D-cell batteries, so go ahead and get those ready. Now, this is the Verizon version of the Cuddy Link cell camera. There's also an AT&T version. But what's really nice about these is if you have a remote property or a home that you want to keep an eye on you can have this cell phone camera and it's going to allow you to get those images remotely even if you don't have internet service out there or maybe your wi-fi doesn't extend out to a gate or part of your remote property but what you can do then is link it to other cameras so you can link up to i think 16 or 24 depending on your system cameras to that cell phone camera and then get all those images and you only have to pay for one cell phone plan for the Cuddy Link cell phone camera or the Cuddy Back camera. So that's the big advantage. You could have 16 cameras or 24 cameras all connected to this one camera and you only pay for one cell phone service subscription to get all those images from all those cameras. So once again, if you have a remote property, a warehouse or anything like that, this camera is a nice option. So we're gonna go ahead and get started getting this set up. And the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead, we'll put the memory card in. So down here at the bottom, you just need to open this up and then you're gonna be able to get in here and put that memory card in. Okay, so now we've got the door open and take our memory card and we're going to slide it in there. You can see there's a slight ridge on the memory card and you want to make sure that that ridge aligns with the memory card slot inside the Cuddy Link cell camera. In our case, we're going to have that ridge facing towards the front of the camera here. Uh, slide it in there, push it in, and once we've done that, we can close this door back up. So all you're going to do is... Uh, just screw this back in place and get that all nice and tight so there's no water infiltration or anything going in there. Now that we have the memory card installed and we've got that door secured, we're ready to go ahead and start installing the batteries. So all we need to do is uh, loosen up the two screws on the back here that hold the battery compartment in place. So we just open that up. And now we're ready to install the batteries. So it takes four D cell batteries and load these up in here. And uh, it does take a fair amount of force to get these in there. Just note that. So sometimes you really do have to force it. So we got those two in there and we're gonna put the other two in now. Close the cover and we're just going to uh, screw these in place. Now that we've got that secured, our Cuddy Link is ready to be powered up, but we're not gonna power it up just yet, but you can see it does say press up here, so it is powered up. We're good to go there, and we're gonna make some changes here, but what we need to do now is go to our computer, and then we're gonna be able to activate this online, and that's gonna connect the cellular link or the Cuddy Link cell to the service so that you're gonna be able to retrieve images from this camera. Now we need to activate the Cuddy Link cell camera. So we go to cuddyback.com. You need your computer for this, C-U-D-D-E-B-A-C-K.com. And uh, then what we're gonna do is click on cell management up here, and we're gonna open that up. And uh, then we're just gonna go ahead and click sign in, but you can look through here and uh, see some of the different advantages. They have LTE or AT&T coverage. Um, so those are the two options for Cuddy Link. Uh, and then the camera plans are 150 images, or excuse me, 750 images per month for $15 per month, or 2,000 images per month uh, for $20 per month, or unlimited uh, for $40 per month if you go month to month, and you do get a discount if you do a yearly plan. Click sign in up here at the top, and then we're going to uh, get our account set up. We don't have anything right now, so we're gonna go ahead and click register as a new user here. And uh, you're gonna to need to enter all your information uh, for your account, so do that right now. We've got all of our information in, and click register. Once we click register, it's going to log us into the account manager, and it's gonna ask for us to confirm our email. Go to your email now and confirm the registration email that was sent. And open up the email and just click activate account. Now we can refresh the page. 
Once we've refreshed, it says your devices and we can go ahead and add our first device. Now here a device pops up, so we can in enter a nickname for the device. We're gonna need to enter the model, the ICC ID, and uh, then the IMI numbers. So all of that information is on the camera right underneath where I've got that sticky note and enter that now. And you can say uh, whether you want this to email you the photos or text you the photos. So you can change that if you want. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. Now we got to the point where we need the cell ID on the activation account. It gives you instructions on the computer on how to do this. Uh, but with this on, what you're first going to do is click mode until we get to commands. So let's go ahead and then we've got commands and then you can select it with this more button. So let's go through, let's get to commands. We click more and then it says bat okay. We can scroll through this and then we've got other options. So now it says cell menu. We're gonna click up and we're gonna click up again to confirm. Now we're gonna click mode and that's gonna give us more options here or more items here. So actually I clicked more and we went past it. So we're gonna have to do it again, but uh, we wanna click on cell ID. So let's go ahead. We're in cell menu up one, two times. Now we're in cell mode. Now we need to click more and then we're gonna have more options. We click more again, cell test, cell ID. We click up twice, one, two and now it's busy and now it's going to give us our cell ID. I'm not gonna be able to show you this, but it's gonna give us the ICC ID in 20 digits, but it's going to do it in four screens of five numbers. So it'll show up on here, we're gonna get five numbers and then we're gonna to have to go through this and then we're going to have to click up once we get the first set and then we're gonna click up again and then we're gonna get the second set and then we're gonna click up again and we're gonna get the next set. So go. our numbers did pop up here. You can see them right there. So we're gonna go ahead and write that down right now. Okay, now that we've got our first set of numbers, we're gonna click up and that's gonna give us our second set of numbers and write that second set of numbers down now. Now we've got our second set of numbers. Let's click up. We're gonna get our third set of numbers here. Now we've got our third set of numbers. Click up, we're gonna get our fourth set of numbers. Now we've got our fifth set of numbers and that's the final one, so click up again. Now the fifth set of numbers, it starts with M and that's because that's our I-M-E-I-D. So the first four sets were the I-C-C-I-D, which you're gonna put into the computer. The second set of numbers, once it gets to M, is going to be the I-M-E-I -E number and we're gonna get three of these. So we're write those codes down right now and we're gonna go ahead and click up and then we're gonna get the second set of I-M-E-I -E numbers. Now let's write the third set of numbers down. Now we're all set, so let's click up again and it would scroll through those I-C-C-I-D numbers if you needed those again. And we've got all the numbers we need, so back to the computer and we're gonna enter that information in for our ICC ID number. Now, if you're having issues following along with how to get those numbers, pause the screen right here and you can just use these instructions here to get your ICC ID and IMEID for the Cuddy Link cell. We have our ICC ID information entered and our IMEI information. We're just going to click add a device. Now, once we enter the information, the billing options come up and the different plan options come up. So we can choose between 750, 2000 or unlimited. We're just gonna start with uh, a monthly of 2000 images per month and see how that goes. But you can go from monthly to annually. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the month to month. So you can cancel that at any time. So we're gonna do $20 per month. Now it's got an extra images option. So if you go over the 2000 images per month, it would just stop unless you select that. So we're gonna click enable in extra images for now. And we're going to click continue. Now you just need to enter your information here for your billing address and your credit card information. Once you've done that, you can check out. Once you finalize the billing information, it's just going to give you a confirmation and you can then click return to devices list. And then your device is going to show up here 
on the Cutty Back website. So it says pending activation right now. It should be going through that. Click on the details here and see what is happening. Now, once we click on that, we check and see that our status is activated, that this cell phone camera is up and running, that the Cuddy Link cell is currently working. Close out of this and uh, see if we can't go back to the main screen, see if it updates that there and see what it says. So now it says this camera is activated. Let's test this out, see if we get something on our cell phone once we've got this activated. Now that the cell phone service is activated online, we do need to have the camera register that cell phone service and activate it. So what we need to do is go into mode and we've got some tests here and we've got commands. So we're gonna go till we get to commands right here and we're gonna click more, battery okay, clear. It says link menu, cell menu. And now we're gonna put press up twice, one, two, and it says cell mode on. Now we're gonna click more, okay? Click more again. Now we're on cell test, click up one, two. And now it's going to perform the cell phone test and this is gonna to confirm to make sure that this is working and it's connected to the cell phone network. So let's see if this is going to go through. It says busy. Now here, if the camera displays success, uh, that means that it is working. If it displays failure, it means that the camera did not activate and you're gonna have to go through the setup process again. Okay, so ours went through and it says success. So that means that this is up and working and activated. Now look at your email that you set up for this or your text message service. See if you got an email that this is working and that you've got everything set up. So check that right now. And we can see here on our cell phone that we did get the successful test at 639, which is approximately uh, about a minute after we went through that setup process. So everything is working. We've got the email on our phone and we've got the text message to the number that we had it go through to. So now that means that this thing is ready and you're ready so that you could use it wherever you wanted to. Now there's a ton of other settings that you can set this up for in terms of motion settings, how often you want the images to be updated, but basically this is now connected to the cellular service and is ready to be set up and used in the field. So we're gonna show you how to do that now. So now pretty much everything is set up on this Cuddy Link cell cam and we're gonna test it out to make sure that it's sending photos to our phone. And then we have another video that shows you how to connect the Cuddy Link remotes. So these ones don't have a cell phone chip in them. They report back to this base station and then this base station will send you all the pictures from all your other Cuddy Link cameras. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and turn it on. You just click mode and that turns it on here. And the mode lets you scroll through all these options at the top here. So there's six total different menus here. You can scroll through those. And when you choose one that you want to be able to select something, you go ahead and you just click on this bottom button, which is called more. So for us, we would just wanna arm this and then you have to wait 30 seconds. It goes through the arming countdown and then this thing is all ready to go. But I'm gonna skip out of that just by clicking again. And what I wanna do is make sure that there's some easy things are set up on this. So it's gonna be ready to go right away. So the first thing I wanna do is go over to this one where it says settings. And then uh, I wanna make sure that it's in easy mode. And that just means that when the motion is detected in front of this little motion detector, it's gonna take a picture. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just click more on this and then it gives us more options here. We have our delay set to five seconds. So after it takes a picture, it's got five second delay, it'll take another picture. Now you could change this by going up or down, 10 seconds, five seconds, one hour, or whatever you wanna do. I recommend to get started, just go ahead and do the five seconds. Yeah, it's gonna wear your battery down a little bit more, but you can change that delay in the future. So we're gonna leave it on that, and then we're just gonna click mode again, and now that means that it is in its correct state. So we're gonna click on that. You can see setup here, we've got easy mode, and uh, we could go ahead and click through this. So if I wanted to change my setup, I click up, and now I have advanced mode. Uh, there's another mode here, PT mode, 
Easy mode is what you want to leave it on, and you can change that by clicking these up or down arrows. And easy mode is going to let you get started right away with this camera and really easy. So, now a couple things to note before you install this outside, you want to make sure that that cell phone service is connected. Now, we did get a success message, so we're good there, but let's say you turn this off and you want to make sure that it is on and it is working. Two things that you want to do to make sure the cell phone communication is on you go to mode. You're going to go over and you're going to go to commands. You scroll through that and we're going to go to cell menu and then click up, click up again to confirm. It says cell mode on. We want to make sure that that is on so you can toggle that with these arrows here. Ours is on. If you go down, it would be off, but we want to leave it on on. And then we're just going to go back. We're going to go back through and uh, go through these settings. So just go mode and then let's click over here again. Let's click more options. And then let's keep going through these and what we've got. So let's go to cell menu again, click up over here, and then we're gonna click up again to confirm cell mode is on. Now we're gonna click more. Okay, we want to make sure that our cell rate is on batch one. That means after one photo, it's going to send us a picture. Now, if you wanna save data, you can make it so it's a batch of like 20 photos, two, 10, anywhere in between, or you can just have it send you photos every hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six, seven, 12 hours or whatever you wanna do. But I just wanna have it on one photo. I wanna get a text every time or an email every time. So I'm gonna leave it on batch one and then you're gonna get that in your inbox and you can sort through those later, put them in a specific photo. So now I'm gonna go down one more and I get cell test, okay? Now I'm gonna click up and I'm gonna click up again. And that's just gonna send a cell phone signal uh, through the Cuddy Link app and Cuddy Link cell. And then you're gonna get a confirmation here on your phone so it takes probably a minute maybe two for this to go through so we've got it here the last one i did a cell phone test at uh like 302 it's 313 so it says busy right now it's going through that and then hopefully in like i don't know a minute or two we'll see it show up here and then we're going to show you how we can test it to make sure we get a picture which you could do once you've got it installed outside, wherever you've got it in your final destination to make sure this thing is up and running and working. So it says busy and we'll just keep waiting until this goes through. Success. So we should get a text message here any minute now. Okay, once we got success, we can see that we did get a new text message here. It says uh, the new camera is at uh, 313 and that just went through. So it took about a minute or two from once I uh, pressed that and then maybe 10 seconds once it said success. So now let's go ahead, set this up just like we're gonna put it in the location that we wanna use that. We're going to click on arming. So you just go through mode until you get to arm and then you just leave it there. You don't have to press anything. Once it goes to that, then you're gonna have a countdown after it says arming. So we've got uh, 28 seconds. We'll fast forward right through this until it's armed. And then we're just gonna swipe our hand in front and see how long it takes uh, for the image to go from the camera onto our phone uh, once it's activated. So let's give it a little bit more time here. All right, let's activate the camera now. We're just gonna wave our hand in front of the motion. And you can see what it says is uh, armed and it says cell TX. That means that it is sending that image. So let's see how long of a delay it is uh, once we send that image. Uh, so probably very similar to the test. Now there's some more data associated with an image. So let's see how long it'll take to show up now. It took about four minutes once we triggered the image sensor in order for us to get a photo. So once you've tested it out, make sure that it works, uh, that you're getting photos, and that you have it set to that setting of one image sent or the batch rate as one image, that's gonna make sure that you get them as soon as possible. If you do the one hour, you're only gonna get images every hour, so it's a little bit harder to test. Now you could go through and set that batch rate differently. It's gonna save you more energy, so the batteries last longer. Also, you're gonna save you data if you have those images all batched together. But now this camera is set up, so thank you for watching this video on how to set up a Cuddy Link cell. We're gonna show you in the other video how you can connect the remote cameras uh, so that they'll all report back to this 
but uh, you're ready to go now and get started connecting that. We'll include a link to the other videos below. And if you like this video, please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any links below. Thank you.